again everyone. My name's Alicia, I'm an educator and a trainer and I'm going to talk to you about broccoli. Now I think I'm quite an experimental gardener, I do like to try different things and so at the start of my broccoli growing session, <laughs> uh, it's one of the healthier options of the sessions available, I <laughs> I decided that I was going to be extremely thrifty even with my seeds and save every single one because on the packet it recommends that at a sensible time in the year you go out into the garden and you make a nice little trench probably about one and a half uh, centimeters deep and you sow the seeds and then cover it over you wait for them to grow and then you pluck out the ones so that you've given yourself some space or that you've given the growth some space, the, the, the broccoli some space to grow. Got there in the end. And <laughs> But I, I thought, well, I don't want to lose a single one. Not in this um, era of um, reusing and being sensible with and helping our supply um, supply chain of food um, because there's a possibility that going forward there might not be quite as much it's highly unlikely because we're very 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 um, we're very clever in this country I think at, at resourcing and, uh, and and sorting things out when we really need to but it doesn't hurt to actually help out a bit and growing a bit ourselves is one of those ways that we can do that. So, <laughs> I started off with a couple of really big trays. This one, I didn't alter. And as you can see, it's growing lovely. Now, I'm, I would imagine, because it, they, they're going to compete for space, and I'm not, at this stage, I'm not entirely sure how to separate them out and what they will grow like. So I'm thinking of at some point just maybe halving them, some point very soon, and just putting them in strips in the garden and see what happens. I have one outside that was originally in um, an egg box and I just sat that in the ground because the egg box will decompose. There's lots of little microbes in the soil and things that, that like to eat stuff um, so I thought that would just decompose and I didn't have to do anything didn't have to plant it out mess or anything just sit the box in the soil that's another little experiment but actually the weather's still been a little bit cold and my broccoli out there have not done as well that's fair enough so this is one where I did separate things out a little. And they've not done as well, bizarrely. Well, I don't know why it's bizarrely, but to me, I'm thinking, mm, okay, so they kind of have enjoyed that space of being together, like that bit like us, really. Not happening at the moment. Um, and then, <laughs> can you see I'm getting a bit irritated <laughs> with lockdown? But I'm staying with it, it's important. Very <laughs> British result. Um, I never thought I'd say that because actually up until now, up until this very moment, I've relished being on my own. I think there's just this slight little things of, if I want to, I, I should be able to. It's that sense of freedom and, and liberty and all that. But actually, if I want, if I really care about people, I do exactly what I do normally. Stay in a lot. Um, so... Here we go. Um, so these are some that I'd separated out even more. And they're doing even worse than the others. I, I, you can see here. I, I don't know why. But this is my big reveal. This. If you look right back at the beginning, you'll see how this got on. Now, I did two things. I wanted to try and create a greenhouse effect. I just never water this. I don't have to water it. It's got its own little ecosystem going on. I'm almost afraid to open it because look at that. That's huge. 
Now, what I did do, because I, I, I got one that I traumatised, I dropped it on the floor and kept dropping it on the floor. And I, I tried to make this its own little greenhouse thing. And it, so I think one of the things is, you know, it, it does need a bit of depth of soil. That's still not, not happy. It's better than it was, but it's still not happy. But this, that's a mega monster. This is one, one, one. Look at it, one. Okay, so <laughs> this is a conditioner bottle. I've just cut it. I've made two little slats at either end to sit it over. I'm going to have to be careful getting it back in, aren't I? Um, and I think I will just, I'll keep this one out and I'm just going to plant him in with all the rest. So I'm getting quite a good idea with these of what really works and what doesn't. But that, now that is interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this little exploratory with broccoli. Um, take care. Have a great day. I will see you again. Bye-bye.